Hi, Rick the Radio Guy here. And Dan O'Malley from Cisco. Today we're showing how to take over a legacy network. A lot of our customers that we talk to, they go out to RFPs, they buy brand new narrowband base stations, brand new consoles. They like, uh, instead of going multi-vendor solutions, they're tied to proprietary radio network vendors. So we're showing today an alternative. And, and Rick, you're very detailed, so why don't you go into some of the technical mumbo jumbo that, that we're going to show today, okay? Mumbo jumbo it is, Dan. So I will show these vintage 1990s era proprietary other vendor radios so I don't have to mention the manufacturer, Dan. Uh, and we'll say that these are FM, VHF, conventional analog base stations here. This was a Quantar system, as anybody can read on the front. Now what we're doing is we're taking this, we've set it up for a 12.5 kHz wide channel, so we're compliant with the new FCC narrow banding. I'm running a 2.87 deviation, so I'm under 3, and I'm under 3 watts of output power so that I'm staying within my FCC license for running the demo here. I'm taking all that technical mumbo jumbo, I'm stuffing it into this EtherStack P25 channel controller which is converting the analog signals into digital signals and vice versa, taking the packets coming over the network and putting it out in a way that puts out P25 phase one compliant audio. Now, Dan, I also have these Tate radios here. They won't sue us. So I have these Tate radios here, and when I key up, you'll actually hear my audio coming out of your Android. And if we look over at the PC, the Incident Dispatch Console, you'll see the green box blinking there. You'll see the talker ID showing up in there. And you'll have this full compatibility here with this P25 device being able to talk. I can even come over here and talk, oh, sorry, talk through the Cisco desk phone, Dan, to my P25 radio system. Wow, that was a lot to be said there, Rick. Let me try to summarize. So it's like, if I remember 10 years ago when I had a dial-up modem, we're going from dial-up modems to data plants, right? And that's what you said, that box from EtherStack, you know, you're basically moving over to data plans in your infrastructure. Uh, what I also heard you say is P25 compatibility over the air on a 12 and a half kilohertz. So I squeeze my button, you get talk P25 ID. talker IDs, and then if you have an Android smart device and you want to talk you back, you also can have smartphones talking back to P25 radios. Absolutely, so I can even key up and you'll see, if the camera gets a tight shot in, you'll see my talker ID showing up on your smartphone. So we have full P25 talker ID uh, coming through this system and we're using these devices that are a fraction the cost of doing a forklift upgrade of that legacy radio system. Okay, so benefits to customers. One, you can extend the life of a proprietary radio network. Two, I, commercial off-the-shelf equipment, Dan. Commercial off-the-shelf equipment moving over to data plans instead of circuit dedicated circuits and it may be expensive microwave shots to your mountaintop repeater sites. So you save on your monthly fees. Uh, extend the life of uh, base stations being in FCC compliance. Yes, sir. And then buying uh, less expensive endpoints with more features than typically what you'd see on a radio network. Yet dispatching capability, you tie in your phones. This is really a nice collaborative solution. I lost count of the customer advantages, Dan, but absolutely, all available today, all available from Cisco via Cisco Instant Connect. And thank you for watching.